Okay, mall or the bakery? Uh, let's check out the mall. I do like some shopping. Arriving at the mall, you're somewhat taken aback by the sheer size of it. More than 300 stores on three floors. Jeebus! Finding a parking spot alone takes take more than 20 minutes! And by the time you reach the front entrance, you're already notice noticeably hot and, and somewhat winded. Okay. Luckily, the thing chill of a powerful air conditioner greets you as you enter, and the smell of popcorn and fancy chocolates promises you things are better in here. You explore a bunch of the shops as you slowly make your way, peeking into more than a dozen shops, offering hats called caps, and passing by a suspicious number of cinnamon bun shops. Well, this place is a lot more fancy than what I'm usually used to. Finally, just as you're uh, passing a store called The Chic Boutique, you hear a familiar voice. Yoo-hoo! Come from the back of the store. Yoo-hoo! Oh, hey, it's Eli. Buddy. So you work here? I'm so glad you're here. I didn't get the chance to give you my and Eero's num nums while we were frolicking on the sands. Hand me your phone. I shall correct this grievous oversight immediately. Absolutely. Done. Now you can send Eero all the cute kitty memes your heart desires and fill my inbox with all the dirty little text your mind can conjure. Okay, sure. I'll uh think about that offer. Not to mix those two up. Can you imagine? Sending me kitty memes! <laughs> I'm practically squeeing my face off just thinking about them! Now, other than another fantastically fateful meeting with yours truly, what brings you to the mall? Did you run out of gum while you were out kicking ass? <laughs> Did you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? I come here to kick gum and chew ass. Uh, two words, food court. Mixing and matching foods can across the, uh, for the fast food rainbow, the guilty pleasure of kings. And look what I'm wearing. Obviously, I'm here for help. My wardrobe is in desperate need of a purgency. To be fair, I probably do need some harder drip. Yes! At long last! Destiny has called my name, and I shall answer! For what you need, you have come to the right place. You have come to Eli. Alright, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. As you to defeat see, the hunt? You are standing in Cheek Boutique, where all your dreams come true. It also happens to be my throne of power. Here at Cheek Boutique, fashion is our passion ration. And I would love, love, love to make you my lovely little Autobot and help transform you. Oh, sweet! I'm going to hand you clothes, you're going to take them to the dressing room, and you're going to put them on and start whispering tearful thank yous to your Eli. Okay, chop, chop, chop! Fortune favors the bold, and judging by what you were wearing when you came in here, you're most definitely the bold type. Did you just insult my drip? But but yeah, sure. Oh, and I could do something more. Um... Next, those are merely suggestions, like pants and speed limits. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. All right, you're set. See you shortly. I think the voice is just a little tiny bit loud. You walk over to the fancy change room uh, with easily two thousand dollars worth of designer clothes, including at least one pair of assless chaps. Damn. For a moment, you feel utterly lost, as there are no signs directing where exactly to go or wait. You awkwardly try to see if anyone is already in the room, but it's too difficult to tell. To tell. Just as you decide to turn back and summon Eli for help, your foot catches the corner of a short bench, causing you to toss your armload of clothes and topple into the change room. Revealing a beautiful girl changing her clothes. Awkward. Time feels like it slows down as the two of you stare at one another in surprise. Every detail seems important. The sharp gold of her hair, the silly ears on her head, the soft white frills on her underwear, those two buns. The moment feels impossibly intimate. The softness of her body, the firmness of her glutes, her quiet expression of surprise. Then you see a fire in her in her eyes. Yep, that is... What was her name? Cassie? Yeah, she is the Sundari type. What the hell, you perv? You're dead meat. Smack. Ouch. A well-aimed uh, high heel shoe clobbers you and you drop to the floor stunned. You see a flash of blonde hair dash past you before everything goes black. She freaking kicked me in the face! You wake sometime later uh, to a concerned Eli. Oh, wow, 
Wowzers, that's quite the bump on the old noggin. She got you good. Hot nigga girl knocked me out, I think. And my, isn't that just a fun sentence to be able to say? Now you've got an interesting story to tell. Lucky you! You've just had the pleasure of meeting one of Sabrosa's more colorful residents. Yeah, Cassie. Her name is Cassie. She is a firecracker thrown into a burning microwave. Yep, she's like Sundare dialed up to 11. She comes in here all the time, tries on all the clothes, usually stuffs the odd thing into her bag, but... Oh dear lord, did you see her nails? That girl is a wizard with the filing board. Did you just say she shoplifts? Eh, just a thong or a bra here and there. One time she stuffed a dress into her purse, which I found to be an impressive feat. And yet you did nothing about that. I mean, I would call the police or confront her or something for the shoplifting, but in all honesty, I'm super lazy, and everything she takes looks so good on her. So, should I shoplift as well? Would you like her number? I've got it here. I snooped through her phone once when she was trying on some lace panties. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah. Beep, boop, beep. There you go. Just a word of the wise. Don't coddle that one. She's got daddy issues written all over her. Oh yeah, I can imagine. And don't forget about Eero. I forgot I was trying to hook you up with her. Eero is so sweet and a tiger in bed, I imagine. Whoops, look at the time. I need to take my two-hour lunch. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Employee of the century there. Okay, it's evening. Let's see. How about we hop into our contacts first? Okay, with Iro uh, Kawase, she made her first impression by losing a job, but she didn't miss a beat. Energetic and fun, but not at all interested in a relationship. With Cassie, current mood, yep, I imagine that. You stumbled into her life by stumbling into her change room. She seems assertive and a bit of a troublemaker, but open to your apology and flirting. And Eli, Iro's younger sibling, who has expressed interest in helping uh, Iro with her love life. Eli has also mentioned interest in you as well. Okay, for fortune teller? Hints. I don't need hints. Let's head to the mall first. Aw, thanks for visiting me. I've been having a really downer day. Do you mind if I just bury my face in your chest for a little bit until everything feels better? Yeah, sure, me for it. Thanks. <laughs> Heart emoji. <laughs> Eli snuggles in and just breathes for a while. Thanks, Charmer. You're a lifesaver. Everything is so much better when you have a good-smelling person in your life who lets you borrow their hoodies and breathe in their cleavage. Thanks so much. I gotta get back to it. You're one suave mofo. Bye-bye. Yep, that's me. Okay, arcade beach. Oh, I'm gonna go to the arcade. Because I think... That's where we're gonna meet my favorite character. And yes, it's gonna be the smelly gamer. Pulling into the parking lot of... Oh, that's a sweet-ass arcade! Like, holy moly! Pulling into the parking lot of the arcade is a mixed bag of experiences. Somehow you already hear children screaming and the mini golf course looks like a health hazard. That's, they got a mini golf course? That's awesome! However, you notice a sign that says, uh, Plus rated a pup, fully licensed, and feel a little better. You walk inside. As you walk into the arcade, your senses are immediately assaulted by the mess of sights, sounds, and smells. The blaring of alarms and the flashing of lights hit first. But then the odd smell of old carpets and greasy food joins soon after. It's not good. Making it to the bar, you've barely caught your, your bearings when you're surprised by the bartender who pops up into your view. She smiles and waves uh, as you first look at her. Hey, oh, you're the bartender? Where the beer and boobs aren't pixelated. Here are your complimentary quarters. Okay, cool. I was expecting you to be one of the gamers. Uh, what was your name again? It's been a little while since I've played uh, Crush Crush. Was it Mew? This month is our hot coffee special. Free lattes with the purchase of 100 tokens. Because my boss thinks ancient memes are dank. That's some reference that goes just straight over my head. My name is Mio, and I'll be your Yes, Mio, has it. And just like a great game server, I never go down. So don't ask. <laughs> what can I get you, sweetheart? I think you and me have different definitions of going down on somebody, but okay. A uh, mana potion, but a dialogue option lets me talk to you longer. The hottest girl I've ever seen. Uh, up, up, down, left. <laughs> yeah, I got a mana potion. Oh, sure. That would be the cheesy pickup line appetizer. It's always overdone, though, just to warn you. Ah, she got me. I'll fetch your drink. Give you time to think about the mistakes you've made in life. Okay, that's a little deeper than I, I'd like. Me returns with various glasses and bottles and gives you a wink. 
As she begins to pour your drink, uh, her top slips even so slightly. Booba! Just a little peek. Here you go, girl. Let me know if that's too thick for you. God damn! So hey, you've got a face, and I've never seen it before. What's your story, mysterious stranger? What brings you <laughs> on a mission from God? You for a month on a vacation, it's places beautiful uh, beaches and bartenders and bananas. Okay. I had a vision of two magical goddesses, and they sent me on a quest to rescue five fans. Nah, I'm missing a mission from God. <laughs> well, I like that can-do Belushi attitude. Especially without the can't-do Belushi body. You've got a winning combo going on there. You just call me ugly. Well, most of the NPCs around here hate to risk season, but I'm a fan. The regulars here are mostly good, but there's a few that, well... There's another meaning for the word regular, right? Anyway, it's just nice seeing new friendly faces around. And abs. Got any abs under that shirt? I'd love to meet them. <laughs> got abs, well, he's one big ab. Uh, I want to ask you a bunch of questions and I want to have them answered immediately. Well, we've uh, got that in common and... Uh, you like a nice friendly face, that's why I came to the arcade bar. <laughs> right? I mean, that's exactly why I'm working here. Okay, I'm all for the direct approach, love. What's on your mind? What's the town like? Is it more Chobits or Killer Kill? kill? <laughs> uh, what word does uh, best describe you? Single or take a walk, loser? Nah, Chobits click or Killer Kill. Hmm, it's pretty nice here. Though we've gotten more cautious about shoplifters and near do wells recently, I guess. Most of the businesses in town have, actually. There are a few streets and alleys downtown I probably wouldn't hang around when it's dark. Or brightly lit, for that matter. But that's just my keen, don't be a dumbass intuition. So I guess it's not the type of place that's going to burst into song randomly, but not that bad. I sense a soul in search of answers. Mm, what would uh, best describe as single or take a walk, loser? <laughs> that sounds like one of those really deep, soul-searching questions everyone needs to ask themselves from time to time. But I think the best word that describes me is interested. Oh, oh, we got one on the line. Just gotta reel her in. Any more dialogue for me if you want to explore? Basically ever since my bra filled in. It's just a summer gig though, for when tourist suckers like yourself are around. This isn't even my main job. I just like having access to unlimited tokens and tequila. I'm basically a god here. Oh my god, me I, I already loved you in uh, Crush Crush, but now here? Oh. Has anyone told you you're even better. Nice voice? You could make it into voice acting full show. Oh, can I? Well, that should have been enough evidence for the incriminate. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem, Detective Phelps. But if you're trying to figure out if I'm lying, I should remind you that my face is up here. Yeah, sure. So, random question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how busy would you say you were this week? Got plans already? More of a first date kind of question. I think. I'm afraid that the, the, the content is age. Kate, I'll need a phone number and confirmation that you're not a bot. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I got that riz! I'm rizzing up all the hot gamer girls. And by all, I mean... One. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. I'll text you, though, and we'll set something up. Sweet! And hey, just FYI, you're on a really good roll here. Like, you're in booty boner territory. Don't mess it up. Oh, she wants me. She wants me so bad. But yeah, she is my main gal, and I will do anything in my power to, uh... I hope to see you later. Ciao! Reel her in. He's night. Time to sleep, I guess. Okay, I got skills, I got jobs. Manipulation sounds fun. You can only run uh, one skill or one job at a time. Sure, I can get some mani manipulation, right? And for jobs, that's just money, right? Uh, Required level, tech service, all tech, that's 55 bucks. I can be I can be a big con man, I can sell drugs, I can be a fixer, black hat or burglar, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I wanna work on some manipulation. Plus two levels, very nice. Today felt like two days. You're asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. We had a strange dream last night. There were cats and rats and elephants. Hopefully none of it was sim uh, symbolic. Okay, so I can only, uh, okay. In that case, let me work a job. Or some more, uh, skills? 
I think I want to do some some, some tech savvy stuff for uh, Mio. Let's run tech savvy. Who knows? Nice. Ooh, new message from Eli. Hey, it's Eli. Don't ask how I got your number. My ways are mysterious and fraught with fabulous. D d didn't you give me your number, like literally yesterday? Okay, listen up, sweet cheeks. There's a the plan. Iro goes for a. Damn. Yeah, Iro goes for a jog basically every morning. That's also when she's in the best mood. Unless you're a joggy god, your best bet is to meet her at the park in the morning. She'll be on the trail end of a run, which will soften her up a bit. Tomorrow parking. Tomorrow morning park. Dress for sweaty success. Iros like to make a jog. You got that? I'll see if I can make it. Ha, that's the spirit. Mild enthusiasm, I'm sure to win over my saying. Go message some faster by tapping on the phone. Okay. You better put some prep in that uh, step if you want to su succeed. Just saying. Alright, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Bye. Any more messages? No, just one from Eli. Contacts. So Mew, oh, she's already one and a half hearts. That is perfect. Okay, if I were... Well, first let's get to go to the cafe. It's fine. I do like my Mexican stereotypes. Oh, yeah. Large coffee, please. Black. Have a great day. Oh, tech plus one. So I can just infinitely uh, level up my stats by just uh, spending 10 bucks here every day. That's cool. Bakery or the beach? Let's go to bakery. Your product would look like a bakery. The sign on the outside says Bonbons Bakery, and the smell of cookies immediately begins to creep in from all sides. Inside you can see people talking, and a, a red-haired woman is putting out a tray of freshly baked bread. You can hardly resist. As you enter the bakery, the smell of freshly baked bread and cookies absolutely overtakes you. Your stomach rolls and your mouth waters, as your body starts demanding tribute. Looking over, you see two girls chatting by the counter. For a moment, you almost mistake them for sisters, given their similarities. You walk in during the middle of a conversation. Hello, darling. I never thought about why we bake cookies and cook bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. Oh yeah, she's a Midwesterner. A mistake though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like the president of words? Ew, sweetie. That's not a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue burst of Beyonce I made. That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. They continue chatting happily, not immediately noticing you. Judging by a lack of purchases, the pink haired girl seems more like a friend than a customer. Yeah, and, and Ellie? 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 Whatever you pronounce the name? Yeah, she's like in my, in my uh, number two spot. I also love her. For a moment, you just sort of caught up as an observer. The two girls are extremely attractive, and their lighthearted conversation makes your heart fly a little. Not a big fan of her. I, I, I forgot her name, but like uh, that outfit with just wearing an apron? Eh, I don't know. And that comically tiny uh, baker set. Finally, through sheer willpower, you clear your throat and grab their attention. Oh, hello, a customer. How long have you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Kathy. Kathy, that was your name. Welcome right. To my no, it was Bonnie Bell, right. Bonnie Bell. You let me know if you see anything you like, and I'll wrap some up for you. The girl with the pink hair gives you a strange feeling when you look at her. Something tells you that you need to figure out a way to talk to her alone. Looking for something sweet and pretty with a nice box and pink hair. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, from Crush Crush, she's like a real airhead. Like, she is incredibly dumb. Any cookies? Like, I don't cookies. <laughs> I thought I smelled something burning, just want to check everything. Nah, no, I want sweet and pretty with a nice box and pink hair. Oh, darling. <laughs> Bless your heart. That pickup line is downright spectacular. But how bad it is. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, you shouldn't eat anything with hair on it. It's almost never there on purpose. Yep, she's about as intelligent as a yard of dirt road. <laughs> you two are just the cutest. Hold on, I'll get some free samples. Maybe you can take another try at that order there, darling. The girl shyly twirls her hair and smiles at you, before blushing and turning her eyes away. Mm. Pinecone, yeah. 
Hey girl, your name must be Ariel because I think we we, we mermaid for each other. That's bad. Nah, just open up real slowly. Welcome. My name is L. It's L. Okay, not Ellie. L. The girl's cell phone starts to beep. Whoops, that's my alarm. I'm late for being early to my book. <laughs> late for being early. Not no, normally this forward, but uh, could I give you my phone number? Nah. Okay, it's just. I'm in no way to give dating advice, but uh, never ask a girl for her number. Always offer, hey, may I give you my number? That's, that's a lot more respectful, you know? Before you go, do me a small favor, collect phone numbers, and I bet yours is especially nice when I trade. Yo, here's my number, girl, ring me up sometime. <laughs> nah, number one. Oh, that's nice. I used to collect pictures of cameras. I would be happy to share. Here, let me text it to you. Oh, and if you feel like talking more later... You can use that number to reach me. <laughs> Take care. Awesome. Broccoli Another one. I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli, so you know they're good for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? Elle oh, you bet. Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart yourself, so I'll give you a hand. Here's a little old tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. I'll give you a few for the road, on the house. Cherry cupcakes, okay. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm gonna come at you with my wooden spoon. Oh god, please do. And by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs> god! Damn! Okay. Okay. Hey, okay. Why does Lotus have my number? Hello, it's Lotus from the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do a, <laughs> a racist accent, no. <laughs> hello, this is Lotus from the Queen Bee Coffee House. Hola, aloha, and hello. Just a friendly announcement to perk your interest. Uh, QBCH is how offering a legendary summer especially. Eggplant spice lattes. We hope to see you soon. Aloha. Oh, uh, Queen Bee Cafe House, right? <laughs> Never spam this number again. <laughs> nah, thanks. You're welcome. But what does my, ma my main squeeze Mew have to offer? Hey, stranger, remember me? I'm the weird chick that works at the arcade who was awkwardly flirting with you. Speaking of awkwardly flirting, I was kind of hoping to do a little more of that. But, like, uh, not on company time. I'm not sure if you're interested in or available, but I thought I'd uh, take a shot in the dark. So do you want to go to uh, go out sometimes, tonight? I promise I can uh, talk a lot less about video games, or a lot more, some versatile, so... Uh, I'd love to go out sometime. When? Where? How? Fantastic. Uh, after I'm off work is usually the best time, why don't you drop by tonight? We can head somewhere else, or uh, I can lock down the arcade and we can have free run of the place. Oh, that sounds cool. Sure, we'll find something fun to do. See you tonight. Awesome, we got a date! Okay, let's check out them all. Maybe Eli's working again. Eli is sleeping. Okay. He seems to be a little hungover, judging from his appearance. So he's not trans? Okay. I respect that. Maybe he just likes uh, wearing grasses. <laughs> Maybe you should uh, let him sleep this one off. Sweet lord, am I tired today, sugar. I was up all night finishing a last minute wedding cake. The order was super rush, and they paid triple. I'm normally more of a sweet tea drinker, but today it's coffee, blacker than the devil's heart. <sighs> Let me know if you'd like to buy anything, sugar. I'm always at your beck and call. Alright. Uh, head, head to the arcade, yeah, for my main girl, Mew. Dropping by the arcade, you do a quick search around, but you don't see anyone you recognize. You decide your best course of actions to get your arcade on. What do you want to do? Mm, Rousing game favorite arcade beat em up, uh, the creep, creep fortune telling machine, cheer on our player, uh, to fame and glory. I wanna play some beat em ups. But I was never good at those. You finally managed to defeat uh, the greater boss in uh, Transform Turtles in Time. Great work, nice. Let's kill it up, tech savvy. You take your ha uh, hard earned gamer knowledge, uh, tip your head to the arcade cabin, and uh, continue on with your day.
Ultimate Despair Life.